welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be making moi moi with leaves and i'll be baking some of the moi moi some of the leftovers so let's get right into it i have my beans here for some people that don't like washing the beans with their hands i'm going to show you a very easy and simple method to wash it with your blender then i have um smoked titles shredded smoked titles i have um eggs seasoning um tatashi i've washed and removed it i've removed the seed i washed and removed the seed so that it doesn't add any bitter taste to our moi moi i have shambo same thing i've washed and removed the seed then i have pepper grounded crayfish oil vegetable oil nutmeg people add nutmeg to your moi moi and thank me later okay let's blend let's wash the beans with the blender now so we are going to blend it bit by bit i'll add some water please observe carefully you just put on your blender and off it you put it on and turn it off put it on and turn it off gradually You keep doing this so when you notice that all the chaff is being washed off from the beans i'm about to start washing the second batch please observe carefully just grab it so this is how it looks like now blending two these two batches took me less than five minutes to get it done but if you still prefer to use your hand and wash you can go to my video where I made akara and see how I use my hand to peel off the back of the beans. So I'll use my hand to wash it so that I can remove the peels. Just like so. I'll keep repeating the process till all the peels are out. You see my beans well washed. I just have to remove these peels. My beans is washed clean. It took me about 10 minutes to get this ready both um peeling off the back and washing it out so guys remember when you're baking moi moi remember to pick the beans beforehand to pick out stones it won't be nice for anyone to chew stones in your moi moi so now i'm going to soak it in water to get soft for my blender for about 30 minutes I'm washing the leaves now remember these leaves were grown wild in the farm so you have to wash it well. I use sponge to wash out the dirt from mine before drying it. So I finished washing the leaves. We are going to remove the stem. Let me show you how it's done. You pop it open, then you pull it out. So we use this stem for the base of the pot later. So removing this stem makes the moi moi easy for you to fold. Our beans is ready for blending. I'm going to blend it in batches. Because it's much. So let me introduce my onions. Onions is a secret ingredient to moi moi. I have to put enough onions. So this is our tatachi, the shambo. Then I add water. Like I said in my other video, akara doesn't require a lot of water, but being uh, moi moi does. I'm going to go ahead and blend. I'll pour in my last paste, then we'll go ahead and start mixing. At this point, I'm turning the banter. It's a little bit thick, so I'm going to add water. If you're to add any water, make sure it's warm water. No beans is a delicate lady. She doesn't want you to waste her time. Once you blend, you start preparing it immediately. You don't keep it aside. So I'll add a little warm water because i don't want the moi moi to be thick i don't want it to be too thick i'll add the nutmeg i make all it in warm water as well because i don't want it forming lumps same thing with the seasoning cubes you have to melt it in warm water you don't want someone chewing on a lumpy seasoning cube and my salt my mind doesn't require a lot of salt so you add gradually and stir and taste. I 
I'll add oil at this point. Oil gives it a shine, gives your mind more a shine, makes the texture very fluffy and shiny to the eyes. Add my crayfish and my titles fish. I've already shredded it into pieces. Then I stir it. This is our stem from the moi moi leaves. It's going to form the base of our pot. So as we are forming our moi moi with the leaves, we'll put this on fire. We'll put it in a low heat because once we are wrapping the moi moi, we are putting it straight inside. We are not waiting so that the beans will not sour. Also add a leaf to cover the stem. Depending on the size of your pot, you might need to add more than one leaf. Let's go ahead and learn how to fold it. You get a bigger leaf add another one on top of it then you fold towards this way you fold this one towards this way form the shape of a cone you can see that then this you fold it backwards fold it backwards use this hand and secure it make an opening here i'm using my measuring cup i scoop I don't scoop it to a fill so that it doesn't overthrow. I add my egg. One good thing with my milk, you can add any protein of your choice. Then I fold. Observe carefully, it's very easy. Let's do it again. Two leaves, you fold. You fold this one from the shape of a cone. It's very easy don't get discouraged you bend it downwards use this hand secure it make an opening here use this hand to turn your banter so that some ingredients do not settle at the bottom and you scoop don't scoop to a feel so that it doesn't overthrow then I add my egg then I fold, press in, two, easy right? So the secret, once you fold, you put into the pot, it starts forming immediately. One more time, you fold in, you fold, even when it seems it's pouring, put it straight into the pot, it will form well. And add any protein of your choice you fold in one two viola so now i'm going to use a leaf to cover it then i'll cover the pot you keep checking to know when it's done. but if the water is drying up you add water around here don't put it on top so that it doesn't go right into the moi moi so we'll cover it now Basically, my momo is still remaining, so now I'm going to bake it. So, with my brush, I apply vegetable oil. I've applied oil everywhere. The oil makes it easier to come out. Some water in my casserole. Then I'll add my baking pan inside. I cover it with my foil paper. I want to retain the moisture. I don't want to lose the moisture. So that's why I added water in my casserole. And I'm covering my foil paper. And I'll put it into the oven at 150 degrees. About to check my oven. So I'll have to lift this up. Use my skewer to run through it. It becomes out smooth. My moi moi leaves have been cooking for about 40 minutes. So now it's ready. The leaves have changed color. So I'm going to bring it out and show you guys. My moi moi leaves are ready. You can see it's well cooked, soft and fluffy. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. If this video has been of any help to you, please smash the like button. Thank you very much.